What's good, y'all? D.C. Alabama Prisoner Profiles. We back at y'all today. First of all, I want to say I appreciate y'all. We damn near to 40 followers. Hopefully, we'll get there by the time I upload this video. Happy late Mother's Day to all the mothers and especially the mothers of those incarcerated. So today, I'm going to be bringing y'all Mr. Stephen Parker. And Mr. Parker is serving a life sentence within the Alabama Department of Corrections. And as you can see, his crimes range from everything to murder, robbery, assault, promoting prison contraband. This man do it all, brand new tank tops and draws. One of the inmates here is Stephen Parker, a self-proclaimed shot caller in the Aryan Brotherhood gang. Parker recently landed in SEG for slashing a fellow inmate's throat with a box cutter. I was gonna get some uh, swastikas tattooed on the side of my neck because I just thought it would look cool. I wanted to get two of them on each side, like Frankenstein bolts. And me and him had worked a deal and I kept going back to him. And we kept on going around for about two months. He said he's gonna pay somebody else to run them. I said, well, you just need to give me my money back. And he didn't want to do it. So, uh, so I went for the <laughs> Now, as you can see, Mr. Parker has quite the personality. Uh, as far as that story he told, it sounds like an everyday dilemma uh, within the Department of Corrections. Um, showing an Aryan affiliation, wanted to get some swastikas tattooed on his neck, uh, slashed a man's throat. Uh, sounds about that to me. Also, as you can see, some of these charges look uh, institutional in relation. Um, got the promoting prison contraband right there. Who knows what he brought in? He got two of them in 2000 and 2006. Also, just FYI, I'm freestyling this. No information on this appeal available online. I did find a motion for summary judgment in which uh, decision was ruled against him. Looks like he sued Warden Grant Cubler as well, just like uh bobby the snake gilbert parker has been in trouble before at another prison he nearly strangled an inmate to death he's serving a life sentence for murdering his stepmother and almost killing his father and i went and rang the doorbell when they opened i shot him at point blank range a lot of people you know they villainized me for that but you know i like i said i grew up with parents that didn't give a about me i'm not trying to excuse my behavior i wasn't racist so i started landing in jails and in prisons kept getting jumped on over and over again then i became racist and I don't, I wear it proudly. I got, I got the swastikas and I got the uh, Shustafa bolts. <laughs> Stephen Parker is crazy. He's, he's a nut. I mean, um, no more, no less. He, he's not a person that's very intelligent. We stand for uh, racial supremacy. We want to control the penitentiary system. It wouldn't take much to uh, decide a ride or whatever, you know. You can take four officers hostage at the same time and uh, it's going to domino. It's going to domino. It's all, they don't have control. It's just a delusion. Now, as you can see in that clip, Mr. Parker gets into the details of his crime. This man has taken Ding Dong Ditch to another level and on his own family uh, at that. Says he had a troubled life. His parents weren't very good to him. Uh, that shouldn't be any excuse for you to take your parents' life, obviously. As you can see, the warden does not think very highly of him. Uh, that's Warden Grant Culliver. Uh, at the time, this is filmed uh, at Holman Correctional Facility. MSNBC Lockup 2006. Lockup extended to stay Holman. Now, again, he speaks on his affiliation there. Again, uh, the Aryan Brotherhood in Alabama is an independent prison gang, meaning they have no connection to the original Aryan Brotherhood in Alabama. That's the uh, shield or patch right there. As you can see, also other... Um, symbols, swastikas, shamrocks, the lightning bolts as you can see right there as well as the numbers 1488. Obviously the administration and like lockup shows trying to paint him out like he's not official or something but I don't think he can walk around in those tattoos yapping about he's a B uh, in Alabama without actually being that or at least have some sort of affiliation. This letter is from Stephen Parker to an inmate named Reese. Kyra Guyton is in charge of reading the mail at Holman. She has just intercepted one of Parker's unauthorized letters containing insulting language about Warden Culliver. He wrote, uh, Culliver, and I'm not gonna read all of that because there's a lot of cussing in it. Uh, he's an idiot, freaks everyone like, uh, and treats everyone like inferiors or children. I cannot stand that, and he is a uh, supercilious jackass. <laughs> Stephen Parker's a weirdo anyway. Very weird. That's why he stays locked up in the back. Now, as you saw in that clip, 
Uh, Mr. Parker did not have good things to say about Warden Grant Culver. Uh, neither did Bobby Gilbert as far as a lot of inmates. But apparently the truth of the matter is when he took over the department in the, what, mid-2000 there at Holman as Warden that the violence did fall significantly. And when he left, shit picked right back up where it left off. As always, I want to say condolences to all parties, his as well as his family members whose lives he took. Um, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Alabama Prisoner Profiles, I got some real special coming for y'all next week. Or maybe the next video if I can get it uh, get it processed in time. Now it's time for me to tell y'all to, hey bro, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop something new. You know, right, all that. All that good stuff. Y'all know what's going on.